How's it going everyone? Welcome to the new year is 2023. Let's get our first video knocked out. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to go about creating a bottle cap inside of Blender. This is super simple. Let's start by deleting our default cube. Press Shift A, go to Mesh. Let's bring in a cylinder and let's open up this tab here at the bottom left. Uh, you can have your vertices be 24. I, um, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna do 32 and I'm just gonna leave the rest as it is. Now I'm gonna press S to scale and press Z to scale it in the Z axis. And we want it to be somewhere around here. That looks good. I'm gonna press Control A to um, apply scale. Press Tab to enter edit mode. I'm gonna grab this edge tool here. Double click to select a ring, or if that doesn't work, you can hold Alt and select this edge to select the entire ring. Um, for some reason, in, in different versions of Blender, you have to do different methods, but that's what I've learned. Let's press Control B to create a nice bevel. And we can go somewhere around here. And we can bevel it four. Four looks good. And now what I'll do is go to the bottom and I'll select my um, face selection. Select the bottom cap. Delete that. Go to faces, and what I'll do is select this entire um, ring of faces by either double clicking on this center edge or holding Alt and selecting that um, center edge will select them all, depending on the version of Blender you're using. And now we want to select every other face. So we can do that by um, going to select and where you checker deselect and ensure um, yours looks like this at the bottom left. It's one, one, and zero for the offset. And with that being done, we're gonna press Alt-E to extrude, and then we're gonna choose uh, extrude faces along normals. And we're just gonna bring it in instead of out. Somewhere around here, looks fine. You can hold down Shift for incremental movements. And that looks good. So what I wanna do now is switch from face select back to edge mode. Double click to select this entire ring or hold down Alt, depending on the <laughs> you know the version of Blender you're using. I'm gonna keep stressing that because I get uh, lots of questions and people ask, it doesn't work when I double click or it doesn't work when I Alt. So it's either or depending on the one you're using. Now, when you select that, now we wanna go back into select mode and let's choose checker deselect once again. And we're gonna change the offset from zero to one. And with that being done, now we can press delete and we wanna delete the edges. And it's gonna give us this shape. And what I wanna do now is I'll double click to select this edge or you know the other button, Alt select. And I want to press S to scale. And I just wanna scale it slightly inwards. And now what I can do is just hop out of edit mode, go to object mode. Right click, go to Shade Smooth, and let's go to the modifiers and let's add a subdivision surface. And it gives us something like this. And let's just bring the levels up to two. This looks good. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can add a, a thickness to it if you want it to not look so paper thin. You can add another modifier, go to Solidify. And there you go, you get something a lot more uh, desirable and you can apply these by being in object mode and pressing control a or you can just hit the drop down and press apply either or works and if you want to get rid of this weird shadow here you can tab back into edit mode and just add some supporting edge loops control r and just bring this down here do the same on the inside if need be And we can add some supporting edge loops on the inside of this thickness. And that should be good. Press tab and let's look at this. That looks great. And we are done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And check out the Patreon if you guys want to support me as an artist. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.